It's time to do some cowboy stuff. Okay, ready as we're ever gonna be. Come on, girls. All for you, buddy. Hard to drive a cow on the north end. First time we've done this. Happy birthday. birthday. Okay, well, Rip, it's time to do some cowboy stuff. You wanna do some cowboy stuff? Yeah. We're gonna, um, we need to get, oh, it won't stick on here. I forget it's an aluminum trailer. It won't stick, cause it's not metal. We, um, we're gonna try to get that crippled bull up and a couple others that we need to take to the uh, market to market to sell um so we're gonna ride our horses daddy's gonna use the mule yeah and we're gonna see what we can get done he has finally shut out pretty much all the way Is where we're ever gonna be. So we gotta be careful out here because there's ruts and holes and stuff. So we definitely don't want to be loping in this field. We just loped over there just to get a little sugar out of them. What you shaking your head about? They've been sprayed. Huh. So there's there's two bulls in here, right? Three? I don't know. But we're looking for one. One old cripple boy. I'm not sure how much help lady's gonna be. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be a slow go. Lawrence is using the mule and the fly spray to kind of try to get the bull going up. Okay, and then we're gonna try to flank this side and just keep them going along the fence line. Now we got this other bull back here who doesn't really know what to think about the horses. And Rip is kind of being a booger. All right. Good job, kids. Good job. Okay. I think that was probably the hard part. Getting them from out there up here. Oh, we still got to get the calves sorted. Oh, okay. Never mind. So I have to sort some calves. Out there, those, those, yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, all right, so we're letting them get a bite to eat. And that right there, y'all, that is BB. If you've been around a while, you'll remember BB, baby bull. It's not a baby bull anymore, it's a big bull, <laughs> big baby. That's what he is, he's like a big baby. Daddy said, uh, this morning, my hair's crazy, uh, he was letting him rub him, yeah. He's always like yeah. He didn't know what to think about these horses. They said he came up behind me and Rip. I didn't see it. It's probably a good thing because that might have spooked me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's in the pen. That's good. Now, we're not we're not working these horseback. We're going to bring them in the chute and separate them. Get the ones we need to sell. And then the rest are going to go out and be mamas. Get, to, get the chance to be mamas. Oh, we're going to go back and get BB. BB is not going to want to leave the feed trough. He said he didn't want him to eat too much. Good job, y'all. We actually did use them to get the, the calves in. I just couldn't do that in video at the same time. Cowboy gets the gold prize, the blue ribbon. Because he would jump over the, this wire that's down that needs to be gotten up. He stepped over it. These two didn't want to, but we ended up getting them regardless, so. Good job, kids. It's really the first time we've used our horses, right? No. To work? I used You've used yours once. Once, but all three of us. All that practice coming in handy. <laughs> okay, be free. Let him go, <laughs> let him go. Everybody else is gone. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> Rip got up there and snorted and bucked. Alright, that one right there is leaving. That 
little one right there is leaving. And one of the others, I don't know. I'm just walking down this catwalk here. All these outside boards need replacing. They're starting to bow really bad. This one, was it this one? This one or that one last year came off. Wally put it back. But we need like all, we need new boards. I just feel like they're going to break at any moment. That would be not ideal. That's usually my job. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one feels like it's gonna break too. Okay. All right, I got it. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming on down. I've got one standing here right at the chute and won't go in. Never fails. Come on, girl. You're going to make me grab it, aren't you? Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, my goodness. Come on, sugar. <laughs> we had to put the scales under there. We forgot about that. All right, you run the first one in, and I'll open the gate. She goes in there with BB. So one of these is going to be Wesley's, and one of these is going to be Austin's. Meaning, these are going to be meat, meat, nope. They're going to be bread. All these are going to be bread by BB. And then the calf of these two is going to be freezer beef. And Wesley and Austin are going to get the proceeds it, since we didn't sell these two bottle calves. Because in the past, if we sold their bottle calves, then they got the money for it. That was kind of our, kind of our deal here. I really need to start using this as um, exercise equipment. They're not wanting to come up. Lawrence had to go play uh, referee. <laughs> I got it. I got it. It's the first time I've ever worked that. All right, girl. Gotcha. I got it figured out. <laughs> um, we have rain coming, y'all. According to the little radar app, it should be here momentarily. And per usual, things are not going quite as quite as quickly as we would have liked. So anyway, <laughs> well, they just made the executive decision to go ahead and keep warding. Clarice Austin reminded me. So that is going to be A W. Aren't said they could fight over that one. Just split it. Just split it. That's better than fighting. Thank you. So we've been wanting to do the whole time to split it, so. Okay. Because we, you know, had it happen. All right, let's go. It's getting right rain on us. I mean, they're big. Some of these are humongous. Humongous. All right, bring her on. Okay, say hello. Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. And it's officially raining. And I officially have the completely outside job. <laughs> oh well. All right, all's well that ends well. Huh, stick? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. 
just gonna move some more around. So we'll just be taking one bowl and two. The two that we're taking are just like runts. They were little. Either, either they're, either they lost their mom or mom didn't milk good or what, I don't know what happened, but these are just two real small ones. So, BB now gets to breed these others. And yes, it is not our typical breeding season, but um, it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll just have a few late ones. And they might go for freezer beef anyway, so that won't be as big a deal. It's not like we need them to go back in the herd and be synced up with the others. So, that'll work. Hey, BB. Are you happy? You don't look happy. You should be very happy. Look at your girl gang back there. Yeah, all for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's still a big baby. We're gonna turn him out there in that bull lot. Take you back to the bull lot so you can eat a bunch of grass and they'll be happy there too. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. <laughs> Look at those girls, they're so happy. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Lawrence just said Rocket is an official cow dog now. He's got manure all over him. Look at him. Gross. It's hard to drive a cow on the north end. You gotta drive on the south end and that's the dirty end. <laughs> that's the way the grass is green. Uh, that right there, I saw him rub his face in, into a nice cow pie. Look at his feet. You stink, little boy. Okay, y'all, that's done. The sun is out. It's warming up. I have a feeling we're going to have to close the windows and put the air back on here shortly. Maybe not tonight, but probably definitely this week. It's supposed to get back into the 80s by the end of the week. Anyway, so right now it's supper time and I had a pound of ground round thawed out. I have a bunch of penne. Is that how you say it? Penny? Penne? Pasta? From the other night. Leftover. And, um... I'm gonna just throw together what I'm calling leftover surprise. Um, I have this jar of premium vodka sauce. It's like, I guess that makes it like top shelf. See what I did there? And um, we're gonna throw that in there. Maybe some cheese, definitely some cheese. Maybe even get fancy like with some ricotta cheese. That's what I'm thinking. And layer it up and call it supper and chances are they're gonna like this better than they like something I spend two hours on that meal I made the other in one of my other recent videos it was just hamburger oh what was it alfredo sauce that is literally their favorite hamburger and alfredo sauce over noodles was it these noodles no no I can't even remember maybe it was because I didn't have any other noodles. That's what it was, it was these. Okay, anyway, ever some kind of noodles, it's their favorite. Austin's like, this is one of my very favorite meals. Really? Yes, so easy. Perfect weeknight meal. So easy, y'all. Do not, do not diss the jar. Do not diss using a jar and a pound of hamburger to make a really good supper. It's easy, it's nutritious, it works. And around here, that's all that matters. Okay, when I say I made a concoction, I have truly made a concoction. I don't know about this. I did the pasta and the hamburger and the sauce, and then I mixed up ricotta and an egg, so it's like really runny. I didn't really mean for it to be that way. And then now I'm just gonna top it with mozzarella and stick it in the oven. And I also put some of that um, Santa Maria seasoning that I really like. It's kind of like Italian-y really the only thing I'm missing in the musket powder line is something with an Italian flair. I'm gonna have to talk to them about that. But anywho, um, yeah, so we're gonna do this and we're just gonna bake it a little bit and let it melt. You can never have too much cheese. And that's, that's that. Honestly, y'all, that don't look too bad, does it? 
Hopefully not. With a big fat salad. I'm gonna tie a string to this so you can pull it from the outside and get the calves in the front, the bull in the back. Well, that's the plan anyway. There'll be something around here. Everybody's bright eyed and bushy tails. <laughs> yeah. I gotta sleep in my eye. At least the sun's coming up. You can tell the time's changed since the last time we did this. Twine? Yeah. Right up top now. When you tie it down here, the shaft's gonna run through it. Tie it to the top of this. I want to end so it pull the easiest. What is right that? Right there. Just go through that hole right there at the top. Yeah. Lady, you came over here with us? You look right. like you just woke up. Your job but it's just hot. It'll pull when it's not nice. you. Yeah, you gotta pull it hard. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, everybody's got a job. That's a fun job. So I I forgot to mention it yesterday because I've talked about it in the past. But the bull that we're selling, he blew out his stifle or broke it, did something to his stifle. So um, that's why he's being sold. We've been looking after him for a few months now, um, but it was time. I got to get back on duty here. Come on, calves. Come on. Hey calves, hey calves, come on in. They're so docile, they don't want to go anywhere, y'all. They're not silly, that's for sure. They just don't want to move. Come on, what am I looking at here? I can't even see, it's all black. There you go, there goes one. Okay, close it, babe. Good job, good job. All right, now we gotta get old, old, old man in here. There he comes. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> All right, good job, buddy. All right. Everybody's in. Do the other one, too. Yeah, good job. ticket. We're at the Lynchburg Livestock Market. What a, what a motley crew we have. <laughs> Baby, just kidding. 1720. Bull weighed 1720. Heifer weighed 755. Still weighed six. Still weighed 755, and the heifer weighed 600. Mm. They marked the shot. Ain't nothing to shout about. <laughs> he didn't like the way they marked it. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. What does it mean when they mark for short? That means she's gonna bring less money than a M calf, and she was a M calf. She just wanted she was, her to the field. She was, yeah, compared to him, she was smaller. If she was smaller by herself, she'd have been a M yeah, calf. Yeah, I mean, they didn't look bad. In fact, they look better than anything else I saw in there, which it is the sale barn, but still. Anyway, hold on. They were not. You got it this way. Still got it that way. Still got it. Boy, it the the he thing. thinks he's turning. Yeah, I was trying to, yesterday I was trying to, I didn't remember if the mamas had died or didn't give milk or what. Both their mamas died. Mm -hmm. So they 
they got started, but they didn't. They didn't. She didn't have no they, memory. They had to raise himself, and then when he got on feet, he was still. He like died twice. He got sick. He came around. He looked a lot better than he had. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Getting on that die. feed. Getting on the feed helped him. Okay. All right. Well, that's done. How old was that bull, babe? He wasn't very old, was he? No, he was about, let's see. Six, seven. He was about six or seven. Six or seven. So that's a, um, that's a stinker. That's a stinker to lose one that could have had several more years of breeding in him, but yeah. that's the way that Didn't get the ball rolls. Two years out of it. Mm. Mm. Oh well, it's happened before, it'll you happen again. Uh, no, you can't go in there. I can't go in there. Well, you're not gonna go anywhere to get anything to eat if that's what you want. <laughs> okay, we gotta, we're gonna clean part of this out over here where it was washing in this field. He said it would be a good place to put the, ooh, the shavings. Cause see, we got shavings in here from where we've been and straw from where we've been hauling the horses and now now it's got cow manure on top of it so we got to clean the whole thing out it's like washed a little a little ditch here okay children good job uh, it's not going to come out very easy obviously Well, that's in the swell. That good? Yeah, I think so. All right, good job. Everybody did good. Mom didn't really do much there. Okay, so she is um, asking her brother to <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Kid. Poor Rocket. Rocket just keeps getting muddy, so he just keeps having to get baths every day. Look at him. He's, he's not feeling it. Good job, Wesley. That was a lot of work. Thank you. Do you like the new thing? What do you call it? Do you like the new washer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still a lot of work. I know. Um, okay, now we're going to do something very fun, y'all. Very, very exciting. First time we've done this. So today is Cowboy's birthday. Totally missed Rips last month. But today's Cowboy's birthday, and Austin's been wanting, since he's a red roan, she wanted to get him a red velvet cake. So I bought a slice of red velvet cake at the food line. We cut part of it. We're going to see if he'll eat it. I said we could have also done, like, strawberry shortcake, because you could also call him a strawberry roan. Um, uh, whatever. Uh... But anyhow, this is what we're gonna do. We'll see. Hello, Hanky. Hey, Dottie. Hey, Dottie. Hey, sweet girl. How are you? Come here. Come here. Don't worry, Hank. You're gonna get a carrot cake for your birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, cowboy. Happy birthday. Oh, what is this? Oh, we found a star. <laughs> Right, oh, she put she gonna... put feet on top. Yeah. Of it. Just, um, blow it out for the oh, wind's probably gonna blow it out because the wind it's windy. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, it might not even work. That's... Okay, we'll just pretend it's not like he's gonna blow it out anyway. He's really... Ha okay, ready? Happy. Okay. okay. <laughs> you blow it out already? Yeah. Oh, we gotta sing it to him anyway. 
Happy birthday to you. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cowboy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. You made it to five. Oh. <laughs> What do you think about that? What? I do not know about that. What, you don't like red velvet cake? It's so good. Cowboy, it's so good. You don't know what you're missing. I'm smelling it, but I'm just not, I don't, I'm not buying it. No, not gonna have it? Okay. Just like a typical five-year-old. Just, just not gonna be picky either, I guess. What time do you eat an actual character? Yeah, it's Pinky, good job. <laughs> okay, nobody likes cake and icing. <laughs> Look, he's gonna get offended by it now. You okay, it? leave him alone. We're not gonna force it. Oh, he's got. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. He's trying to get it off of his nose. Off of his muzzle. Go get you some water, Hanky. Okay, y'all. I am trying a new recipe tonight that I found online. It was in Cowboy and Indian Magazine. I don't get that. But um, anyway, Southwest Crunch Wrap, I think. So we're starting with a pound of ground round. Then we're gonna add a little garlic powder, chili powder, pepper, cumin, and salt. Put in a little bit of water and we're gonna mix that up. Some gold label musket powder would also be really good in here. If I had any, I keep forgetting to order some from myself. <laughs> Woo wee. All right, then we're gonna add a can of drained and rinsed black beans. A can of well, a cup, a cup of corn. I'm using Southwest style. You know what? We're going for the whole thing. Ain't no sense in that. We're gonna put in a half a bell pepper or that was one large mini pepper. Large mini, figure that out. Okay, and then it calls for a green onion, which I actually happen to have, which I never seem to have on hand, so that's exciting. Um, okay. We're going places, y'all. We're getting there. I just realized that this recipe does not call for cheese, and that seems like a mighty big error. Mistake, maybe? Anyway, ours will have cheese in it. The problem is it made an awful lot, and it calls for six tortillas. Well, I only have four. So, um, I think that's what I have. So, I'm just going to put as much as I can in them. One, two, three, four, five. I have six. I have six. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put, like, it, it calls for a little sour cream. So, you put a little sour, put like a little sour cream. And I'm going to put a little cheese and then put a little meat mixture. And then you're supposed to kind of fold it up like a burrito, but I think these are actually not large enough for that either. Okay, the whole plan may just go down the drain. I might just end up doing something a little different. Well, I did it, y'all. I got them in six tortillas. I'm flipping them over as they get done. Still got some meat left over, so we might just have to eat it like that. But um, yeah, so far so good. Okay, y'all. We have a winner, winner, Southwest Crunch dinner. I said I wasn't gonna do this again, didn't I? Okay, um, it was very good. Lawrence said, I really like that. Please write it down and make it again. So, that's what I love to hear. I love feedback like that. So, very good, try it. I'll put the link to the recipe from their website down below and um I did make a couple alterations maybe I'll maybe I'll do like a revised recipe on my site soon I'll work on that but for now you can use that as the base and um anyway yeah good day we've had a good day we've had a good couple of days we really have I'm gonna clean up here take a little walk 
as the sun's setting and um, clean up and get ready to go to bed and do it all over again. Different day, same place, different things. Oh, I know, exciting thing happening tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm not gonna say it because it might jinx it. Stay tuned.